Warriors of the Inquisition are yours to command. Hey there guys and welcome to another episode of Master the Watch. Today is a sad day for I have decided to repurpose my Space Wolves Lehman Russ Exterminator that I spent so many hours trying to paint white um, and I'm going to repurpose it for my Masters of the Watch. There they all are. I'll do a little sneak peek later of um, how they are doing. But yeah, let's just take a little moment to remember this Lehman Russ Exterminator. Uh, this is the tank that made me really interested in Space Wars because they were the only Space Marine army at a time that could take you know, a Lehman Russ battle tank. Unfortunately, Phil Kelly got rid of them, which I was a little bit annoyed at. Now, um, I'm going to take some of the gravel off because I did try a little bit of basic weathering and stuff. Uh, this was back in the day, long, long time ago. Uh, but this is the original Lehman Russ Exterminator tank. That's right, guys. Yes, I am wearing a dressing gown. Um, it's got the old metal... Ex um, Twin Links Auto Cannon. The actual uh, turret still rotates uh, just about. It's probably just choked up with dust. It's got a metal front heavy bolter as well. Obviously, two side spots and heavy bolters also. But yeah, guys, it's a sad day. It really, really is. I mean, luckily, it's painted mostly white, so it will actually take uh, really well to a respray. Um, although, I am rather annoyed that I'm going to have to get rid of my cool little uh, wolf head logo there. Actually, it looks more like a puppy dog, but I don't really care. But anyway, guys, so join us in a second when this has uh, been painted. Goodbye, Lehman Russ Exterminator. You've served me well for my Space Wolves. Goodbye. Okie dokie, guys. So, what became of the Lehman Russ Exterminator? First of all... Those of you that are quite observant have probably noticed already that there has been considerable time between filming the beginning bit that I've just shown you and now, um, as everything is exceptionally tidy. Um, but anyway guys, so uh, let's get cracking with uh, some of the stuff. First of all, I have done this to the Lemurus Exterminator. Personally, I think it looks a hell of a lot better um, than the old one did with that horrible white with all the bloody brush marks in it and stuff. God bless airbrushes is what I can say. Now, um, this guy's here um, is my uh, extremely weathered um, HQ Lehman Ross Exterminator. You see, everything um, articulates and stuff still. Um, oh, I probably shouldn't uh, show you the contents of that. Um, but yeah, everything still articulates just a out. There we go. There's a bit of uh, weathering mud and stuff that's got stuck in there. But um, overall, I think it looks pretty decent. Let's just get a close look at some of the weathering. I mean, the gravel actually really helped that was on the sides and stuff like that. Mainly because uh, it, it allowed the pigments and stuff to actually fix and hold better to the actual miniature. So I'm thinking of doing that on most of my other ones, on my other tanks that I'm going to do. Speaking of other tanks, what well, I've got one more tank to show you on this video. Then, in total, tank-wise, what else do I need? I need a, another um, Chimera, possibly another Lehman Russ, possibly another Wyvern as well, and that's pretty much it. Or maybe some Hellhounds as well, because Hellhounds are fun, especially when you're against Orcs, because they just burn. They just burn like a motherfucker. Um, but anyway, so, um, let's take a little uh, look at this. Um, we've just got some, some slight little bits of detailing and stuff like that. Nothing too mega, like I said, I'm going for quick and effective looking tanks. Um, we've got Command Gold here, because this is going to be the, the Pask, the Pask Punisher. And I'm actually thinking of, because the turret is removable, I'm thinking of actually um, getting rid of, well, not getting rid of, keeping the exterminator cannon, but trying to find a Punisher cannon as well. Speaking of which, guys, if anybody's got a spare Punisher turret knocking about, I'll be more than willing to uh, part with some cash for it, because it saves me to buy a whole other Lehman Russ. Um, but yeah, guys, so, let me know what you think about it. We've got some, um, more, some little details going on here in regards to like, the little uh, viewing ports and stuff like that. And let's just get a look at the, uh, the weathering. And I'm lazy. Yes, I know, I don't paint the underneath of my tanks, because no one ever sees them. Um, so, I mean, this weathering, the mud effect on here is just absolutely fantastic. I really 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 love it proper heavy dirty tanks um so yeah guys let me know what you think of this tank here sorry this is rather tank heavy this episode so guys the next tank that i'm going to show you which i really enjoyed making actually is this dun, 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 the manticore this is an evil tank because these missiles are absolutely retardedly good um you'll notice that i actually made the whole thing um articulating so it actually um moves about and stuff like that and we can reposition this bit i also made it so that mm, Ah, there we go, so that we can uh, take this out for easy stowage if needs be. And do you know what? 
I detailed that bit, but didn't detail that bit. Well, I suppose that is a little bit detailed, I suppose. Just not so much on the tracks. But anyway, let's uh, let's have a look at some of the actual components. We'll leave the main part of the tank there. So as you can see, gone for a really oily and kind of weathered, you know, well-used look to it. We've got the pistons and the servos all oiled up here. Got some nice little detailings underneath the um, the missile racks. Um, I need to repaint these, I think, or maybe varnish them, or maybe put a gloss coat on them or something, because they've kind of chipped. But I've gone for good old Red Ender missiles. We've got a nice little... Um, uh, optic globe there for the um, positioning and the uh, the tracking systems and stuff. And uh, on top here again we've got some more um, AK Interactive Engine Oil effects. God I love that paint, it's so good. What do you even call it paint? I think it's actually just engine oil in a bottle. Uh, but yeah, so that's uh, that bit and that simply just slips on like this. He says like that and we're ready to rock um, we've got uh, some uh, weathering and stuff going on here as well what can I do with this? with my um, uh, brush that I use for my um, uh, pigments I make my pigments in like a paste and then I kind of just flick it and tap it on the side so it gives this like sprayed up look maybe look like you know explosions have gone off nearby and sprayed mud all across the side of the actual tank we've got a flamer here as well mainly because uh, when all the rockets are, um, are used up in this I intend to just drive this around and flame things with it but again a bit of a basic paint job on here, uh, some basic weathering and stuff going on there. Um, so yeah guys, let me know what you think of these two tanks. Um, I actually personally think my weathering and some of my techniques are getting a little bit better in regards to this, and this is what this project was all about really, uh, it was about expanding my horizons and stuff like that. Um, so guys, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys again shortly. See you now, and goodbye.